The episode starts with Devi Ahilya increasing Malhar Sarkar. She says it's not your fault if it's someone else's mistake. She pacifies him. Her kubai comes there. She says Dharm Guru has come. Malhar Sarkar says I should go. Devi Ahilya says you take rest. I will go. She goes. Malhar Sarkar gets depressed. He says I have no strength and will power to live. I feel tired. It's time to do something for the last battle. Mena comes to Malerao. She gets food for him. She says, I have always supported you. Don't worry, I will always be there. He asks, will you support me? She says, yes. They have the food together. He asks her to help him. She says, I will help you. He says, help me in going out of here. She says, so that you go to that case, sir. I would not help you. Never. He angrily throws the food plate. Acharya asks Devi Ahilya, what did Malerao decide now? He is a prince and he can't marry the dancer's daughter. Devi Ahilya says, I have explained Malerao and Kesar has gone away from the palace. He asks, are you fooling me? She says, no, never. He says, better, remember, Dharampit is going and I own you. One wrong move and entire Holkar family will be boycotted. She says yes, he lives. She worries and talks to Tukoji. The guards get Kesar to some place. She says, I want to go home. Let me go. The guard says, no, you have to stay here. She thinks, I don't believe anyone. The guards lock the door. She sits crying. Tukoji says, no one knows about Kesar. Why did you send Kesar to some other place? Devi Ela says, yes, but the person who wants to attack her will harm her. Her life. That's why I did this. He asks, why does someone want to kill her? She says, Kesar was attacked before also. They said, they are protecting culture. Chameli Bai came here on Raghubad saying and told us about Kesar's past. I feel Raghubad is connected to the attackers. He can surely try to attack Kesar. I don't want this. Malhar Sarkar is getting unwell. Mali Rao is not ready to listen. Kesar should go away and... Her safety is our responsibility. We just have to wait and pray. Dwarka Bai and Gunuji talk to Raghuba. Devi Ela and Tukoji hear Mena crying. Devi Ela goes to see. She asks the matter. She sees the fallen foot. Devi Ela says, I asked you to win Malerao's heart. Mena says, I can't do that. Kesar is there in his heart. It's too late. He has gone too far from us. Raghuba says we have to know our weakness. It's important. Think again. We can't do anything to Malerao until we get him. Devi Ahila has kept him in the palace. Dwarkabai says it's my responsibility to send him out of the palace. And it's your responsibility to take him out of Malwa. You decide what to do. You want a king who supports you. Malhasarkar, Malerao and Devi Ahila would not listen to you. Give the throne to Gunuji. Gunuji smiles. Raghuba says there is just one way to make Malerao come out. Kesar and Malerao see the moon and get set. He throws the water. Guard comes to Malerao. Malerao asks them to get water for him. Guard goes. Malerao attacks the other guard. He shuts the door. He wears the guard's clothes. He hides his face.